Sagittarius, hi. So this is going to be a reading for September, September, yeah, September, August 26th through September 1st. And I'll um, take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Saji. <clears throat> All right, the overall energy for the reading, the chariot. This gives me a little bit of an idea that um, you're doing something right. Like you're on the right track here. Even though there's some things along the way, you're still on the right track. Um, all right, let's see what's going on. In the recent past, the two of pentacles, the ace of wands, the two of swords. Oof. You want to do something here? You really, really, really want to do something. But man, you're so confused that I don't know if you ended up doing it. You know, there's, there's that... Ooh. And it's quite unusual because for you, it's like when that kind of a wanting to do something shows up, I usually don't see it surrounded by like almost like a sense of clumsiness, uh, but it's coming from you are not sure of something in there, you know, if that's even you, because that could be somebody attached to you. But in the current situation, the five of cups, the queen of pentacles, the ace of swords, <laughs> there's... There's almost like regret about doing something. So I'm assuming you did something there. And if you did do it from those types of energies, I can understand why you're coming here with the sense of, uh-oh, you know? Um, but what's interesting about this one is that you're not putting yourself down through it, which is great. It's freaking amazing. That's very, very healing, actually. You know, you're like, well, I did it. You know, what can I do? I'm not going to hate myself for it. You know, I might as well kind of take it into account and just do better or something. I don't, because I, I don't know what, what that is. I have no idea what happened, you know, but I do. It's interesting how you look back with regret, but at the same time, you're not putting yourself down. That's my favorite part of it. In the uh, immediate future, the Empress, the Knight of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles. Uh, you're very... Like, you care a lot about a situation and you want to do your best to, to treat it with a lot of care and, and nurturing. Um, it's a very sensitive situation, though. I don't know what's going on. Hmm. It's almost looking like um, it's a very similar energy to when... I'll give you an, a personal example. When... Uh, Oscar got older, my dog before Blue got older, um, and he needed that extra, you know, care and just being there more than before because, you know, he was getting older, could barely walk, things like that. So it's, it's kind of like that kind of an energy. Um, very caring. Very caring. But uh, <clears throat> let's see here. Let's clarify. Let me do the chariot. The ten of pentacles, the eight of pentacles, the six of pentacles. Yeah, when it comes to something especially tied up to your sense of stability, that's where things are looking like you're on the right track there. Um, it, again, with everything that's going on, it may seem that, ooh, you know, I've got disruptions or I don't feel that great about it or things like that. But it's looking like, energetically speaking, at least, you're, you're definitely on the right track. Uh, let's do the two... Hold on. My leg is... I forgot it under me for quite a minute. And I'm like, okay, I think it's dying. Let's revive it by taking it out. Um, two of Pentacles in the recent past. Oi, 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 oi. Five of Wands, Seven of Swords, the Tower. You know when you're trying to avoid a situation uh, to not create 
like a big deal out of something and you're kind of like, uh, and you actually make it worse. That's the energy I'm getting here, you know? And again, I have no idea if that's you. But it's one of those where somebody initially is trying to avoid things kind of... And there's a sense of insecurity and there's a sense of almost clumsiness when you do that, you know? That, that applies to, to everybody. And you might actually end up... Let me give you the, the, the smallest example possible. You know when, let's say, somebody's sleeping and you're trying to, to walk very slow not to wake them up and then you bump on something and you make this big noise like if you were to walk normally because you know how to walk in your own home uh you would probably not make so much noise but when you try your best that's when you do it kind of like that kind of like that oops oopsie doops let's do the ace of wands the Queen of Wands, the Two of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles. You're very sincere in whatever energy you're bringing to the table, whatever you want to do here. Very passionate about it too. Even almost containing that fire a little bit so that it doesn't, you know. So kind of trying to keep it steady, keep it flowing in this movement towards whatever this is. Um... Let's do the two of swords, you get the hierophant, the nine of swords, the five of cups. Yeah, it's almost showing up ultimately like somebody messed up about something and then, you know, they were probably given another chance or something and then they were trying so hard to not mess up again that they did it without intending to or something like that. Uh, it's very complicated, very complicated energies over there because there's so much holding back there's so much i'm gonna try my best to not do this and then just because you're trying so hard you're actually ending up doing something that shows up as uh oh you know so wow okay let's do the five of cups in the current situation the Queen of Swords, the Three of Cups, the Ten of Wands. Uh, the energies seem more clear now. Uh, but they seem more clear because you're looking back at the situation and you're a little more detached. And now it's starting to kind of make sense to you, all of that. And you can see how, you know, it impacted a situation um, where right now things are feeling quite hard for that situation. But... There's, again, there's that sense of regret, but not really, because it's like the 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 initial intention was to not fuck it up, and then something happened, you know, along the way from trying too much or something. Um, let me do the Queen of Pentacles. You get the Wheel of Fortune, the Page of Swords, the Two of Pentacles. Like you, you got a good approach here in how you look back at this um for the most part because you're looking from a compassionate and understanding way to the situation to whoever created this whether that's you or somebody else uh, but then you can't have help falling back into the energy that has been created you know the whole mess of it um so for the most part you're kind of keeping it in that perception over this from again that compassionate kind of a perception um and sometimes you have the tendency to be like but it's, look how it turned out you know um for the ace of swords you get the four of pentacles the king of swords the world card or it feels like it may feel to you that whoever's at the other end of this doesn't want shit to do with this because it's like look what happened I'm out, you know, but I feel like that's your perception over it. I don't know if it's them. I have no idea if that's the reality of things. If whoever else was involved in there said, I, I am pulling myself out of this, or if that's what you think is happening. I think it's your perception though. Um, 
But let's see here. Let me do the Empress in the uh, immediate future. The Seven of Wands, the Judgment card, the Knight of Swords. Yeah, there you go. Sag is coming back. After all of the twisters and whatever the hell happened there, you're like, you know what? Fuck it. We only have one life. Let's just go ahead and do what we want to do. And I see you potentially trying to approach the situation. Um, I don't think... Yeah, there's... You're making some decisions here. Once everything is uh, kind of said and done, you're like, okay, now I know what I got to do. And I don't know what you're doing, but you're showing up in an energy of clarity, you know, after quite a minute here. Let me do the Knight of Pentacles. You get the Ace of Pentacles, the Lovers, the Three of Swords. Yeah, you want to work on this, you know, but again, you want to come at it from a place of clarity, which I feel like you're uh, attaining here for sure. Um, and you understand that there's been some damage done here. Now, I don't know the gravity. I, I have no idea how I just see it energetically. And the way I feel it from an energetic standpoint, it's definitely fixable. Um, but I don't know in the physical, you know, what transpired out of this. Because it could have gone multiple ways and not pleasant ways. But ultimately, you're kind of translating it as I want to move towards this and I have damage in the way, you know. Um, so recognizing that something happened here. For the Five of Pentacles in the uh, immediate future, you get the Page of Wands, the Ace of Cups, the Eight of Cups. Uh, you're... Uh, okay, so again, you're stepping into a more determined, clear kind of a place. You have the tendency to disconnect from uh, how you truly feel about the situation. Like, at your core, you know how you feel. Uh, the thing is, you have the tendency to disconnect from your heart as you pursue this potential way back towards this. Um, and when you do that, it feels like you're walking towards something. <clears throat> and then at some point you stop and you're like, what the fuck am I doing? Where, where am I going? Where am I at? What am I doing? You know, uh, so it feels like you may get lost along the way if you disconnect from your heart. But the direction is definitely moving forward here potentially towards trying to figure things out here man fire signs are cleaning up some messes i'm telling you what the hell happened here for you guys i think aries had something almost similar um yeah from the universe, you get the Tower, the Ten of Pentacles, the Six of Cups. Yeah, something is being shaken up, for sure, for you. Uh, a soul connection of some sort. So this could talk about a friendship, uh, significant other, family situation, I don't know. Again, from where I'm sitting, as far as the energies go, it's not looking like it's uh, not fixable, you know, but again depending on how far these energies went into the physical and what really happened there, then it might be a little more complicated. But anyways, um, that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.